All right, kids. So today we're going to talk about uh, different states of matter. Now, you might be wondering straight away how this relates to space, especially as this is our first space video. Um, but it does, and we'll get there in a second. But today, yeah, we're going to talk about the kinetic theory of matter and how it all works. So how uh, particles interact. Now, we're going to talk about particles a lot in this next the next two videos, and I want you to imagine all molecules, all atoms as little balls bouncing off each other. That's just the way we're going to talk about it for now. Okay, so what's the point? What do we want to get out today? We want to be able to describe the various states of matter in relation to kinetic theory of matter. This is important. Like This describes how everything works um, and why it works the way it does with relation to temperature and energy. So we want to explain why certain phases. Now, I'm going to use the word phase. I'm not going to use this word anymore. Well, I might, but I'll try not to. The correct word here is phase. So we want to use why certain phases, states of matter, just for those of you who are curious, it's solid, liquid, gas, plasma. They're the four normal stages, phases of matter. Um, so we want to explain why certain phases exist in order in relation to temperatures. Okay, so one's coolest, middle, hottest, and insane. So, and you want to be able to draw a particle model of each. So kinetic theory. What is it? Um, basically, all particles with any energy at all are in motion. So anything ab above absolute zero has energy and therefore the particles are moving. All right. So the warmer they are, the faster they move. Now this depends on the particles. Some particles at room temperature are going to move a lot faster than other particles at room temperature. Um, the velocity of gases, of gaseous particles at standard temperature and pressure. That's sea level, 25 degrees. It's 500 meters per second. All gaseous particles at that temperature move at that speed. Um, so the average distance for a gas, so distance between particles at, at standard temperature and pressure is 30 diameters. So 30 widths of those particles apart, now remember, a carbon dioxide particle which has a C and two oxygens is much, much larger than a nitrogen particle, which is just an N. Okay, so collisions per second. These particles are bumping into each other all the time. Is 4.0 times 10 to the power of 9 at standard temperature and pressure. In other words, you've got one particle floating around here, and one particle, so they're all moving at 500 meters per second. One's going this way, this one's going this way. So, in a certain, in a liter of um, gas, there's about that many collisions every second. So, so that's all gases. That's important. Um, phase can change depending on both pressure and temperature. In other words. Um, if you heat something up, it can change phase. Or if you cool it down, it can change phase. If you decrease the pressure, liquids will boil. This is why liquids boil at 70-something degrees on top of really high mountains, like Everest. All right. By liquids, I mean water. <laughs> All right. So, quick place for revision. You need to go to this website here. I'll try and have a link beneath it. That made it hard to read, didn't it? Um, look at the eraser at so you need to go to that website, and you need to have a read over it, and make sure that none of it, except for Hooke's Law, is new. Okay, This is assumed knowledge. You need to, I'm assuming you need to know this stuff. The responsibility on you is, if you don't understand any of this stuff, you need to go back over it and learn it. Okay, it's junior science, that's on you. Okay, this is responsibility kicking in. All right, states of matter. All right, so you've got your solid. Uh, basically, it has its own shape. Hang on. I'm going to get each of, get you to describe each of these. There we go. In a table. Okay, so you're going to describe the state of matter in terms of... Where's my pen? Yeah, okay, cool. In terms of packing, motion, shape... And attractive forces. Okay, you're also going to bring this into class tomorrow. Okay, or next lesson. See, that's the I'll check part. Now, 
you're going to do it in a table. Okay, this means you need state of matter, so that's one column, two, three, four, five. All right, now, states of matter are the is the independent column variable. What this means is independent, so it's on the left. Okay, so here's your table, looks like this, form, that one's states of matter, and all of the others flow along from there. So you've got solid, liquid, gas, plasma. Anyway, that's what I want you to have ready. Now, you should also summarize this. So, okay, so you've got solids, they've got a definite shape, um, they're all kind of connected and they vibrate. Liquids, you, you know this, this should be revision. If it's not, go over it, make sure it, you understand it. All right, so that's part one uh, of the first section. Now, again, this is just the assumed knowledge that I need you to have for this course. All right, I'll see you in part B of lesson.